Hey friends, Sleepy here, and welcome to my 2022 Collections Goal video. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys what my goals I have set for this year for my collection, for my channel, and just for gaming for me in general this year of 2022. So my first goal is one that I've actually been working on for the last couple of years, and that's one I do want to focus more on for this year is playing more games in my collection as... The last several, like five months or whatever, I have not had a whole lot of time for gaming. And so one of my goals here is to actually start setting aside some more time to play games. You know, it's fun and stuff to buy and collect all these video games and everything. But it's even more fun to actually take the time to play and enjoy them. And with work has just been really difficult. We've been really busy there. I've been putting in overtime and stuff. I've just been really tired. And then I have days off. And then my one buddy's been wanting to go out game hunting and just you know hanging out with people. And I've always just got stuff to do. And <laughs> I have not made a whole lot of time for gaming. And so this year I want to make even more time so I can play each week of gaming. You know, I've been doing a pretty good job, but I want to actually start playing games more as I really do miss it when I can't play it. It sucks some weeks when I only play a couple hours here and there. You know, I love gaming. And so I want to make sure I set aside enough time to actually play and enjoy some of these games. I mean, obviously, you know, I've got, I'm married, I have a wife and son, so I do have, you know, other obligations and work and stuff, but I am going to make some more time for gaming so that I can actually play and enjoy these games because what's the point of buying all this stuff if you're never going to actually play and enjoy it? So that's one of my main goals too to keep doing that I've been doing the past few years is trying to increase and make more time to actually play and enjoy these games. So that's one of my first goals I want to do. Another goal is I actually want to start getting some backup consoles for my collection, which I did last year. I got more Xbox 360 consoles. I have like three, I've got like six of the there's three different models of the Xbox 360, and I have two of each. I have six consoles now of the Xbox 360, which I got plenty of those. But I only have one PlayStation 3, so I definitely need to get another PlayStation 3. I do have three Wii U's now, so I've got plenty of Wii U consoles. I got plenty of Wii's. I got plenty of PlayStation 2's. I got plenty of regular Nintendos and Super Nintendos. But PlayStation 3 is one that I definitely need to get a backup of. Um, I've got plenty of Nintendo 64 consoles. I've got plenty of Sega Genesis ones. Um, I do need to get another Sega Saturn console. So I'd like to have a backup for that. i got plenty of Sega Dreamcast. Um, I've got plenty of my uh, handheld systems, my Game Boys, my Nintendo DSs, 3DSs, Game Gears. I have plenty of those, so I don't need any more, be worried about getting any more of those. But mainly, I want to get another PlayStation 3. Um, I've got plenty of Xbox One consoles. I actually have all three generations. The first Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, so I'm good there. I have an original PS4, and then my brother's actually given me his PS4 Pro. So I will be good on having PS4, but I do really need to get a uh, PS3 this year, another one, which I'm not sure if I want to get one of the slim ones or I want to keep going with a fat PS3 that I have. It would be really cool if I could find one of those backwards compatible ones that play PS2 games as well as the PS1 games. But yeah, definitely I want to make sure that I have backup consoles so that I can enjoy these games for a long time. Because, you know, consoles can break. And so, you know, as we get further along, you know, they're going to get harder and harder to find because they don't make these consoles anymore. And so I definitely know for sure I need to get another PlayStation 3, maybe another one on top of that, which I want to have to make sure that I future-proof my console so that I can keep playing and enjoying these games by having backup consoles so that's another goal this year is to make sure i get the backup consoles that i need just got to go through and make sure i have at least two of everything like i got i got enough game cubes you know that kind of thing so i have almost all the backup consoles i need but it's mainly ps3 that i want to get maybe another ps4 um may eventually get another xbox one x down the road here as they get cheaper especially as we get further into ninth gen i'm still kind of on the fence if i'm going to get into ninth gen or not because i have so many freaking games from eighth gen i haven't even played yet so for me that's still a ways off for getting into ninth gen but definitely getting backup consoles is a key for me is making sure i can still play these games in the future in case i have a console that breaks or not um another goal too is a third goal here is actually storage. I actually want to buy a few more external hard drives because I have a lot of games. And with H Gen, you know, you have to install games on the PS4, the PS3, um, Xbox One. You know, you have to install games, which I do have. I think it's a four, 
terabyte hard drive right now on my Xbox One X, but it's completely filled up, and not the hard drive on the console is almost completely filled up, and there's so many more games I could have installed. So I do want to buy a couple hard drives, one for my PlayStation 4 and another one for my Xbox One. That way I can have more games installed. So I do need to get more storage for my games systems, so that's another goal. A fourth one I want to work on is buying more strategy guides for my collection because I love strategy guides. Now there are some people who just buy strategy guides just for the hell of it, you know, I just like collecting them. I actually use my strategy guides, like this Donkey Kong 64 strategy guide here. My buddy Grant and I are working on getting 102% and this strategy guide comes in handy because it tells me where all 201 gold bananas are, how to beat all the eight levels to get the Kong stuff and all the tips you need to track down everything all the banana fairies, all the secrets and strategies. and stuff. So I really love strategy guides as they actually enhance the games that I play. Now, I do own a couple strategy guides that just came in lots, but mostly like 98% or more of my strategy guide collection are actually strategy guides that I want and actually will use. You know, I don't buy strategy guides for like Maddens or Yu-Gi-Oh's. I have a couple of those. They just came in a lot. And I just actually never got rid of them. But mostly, I only buy strategy guides if I'm actually going to use them for games. There's no point in just having a strategy guide sit around that does nothing for me personally. I mean, you know, if you enjoy collecting them, they know more power to you. But for me, I like strategy guides that I actually will use. Because they, for me, they enhance the game. I don't know my buddy Dean likes them as well. So I'm working on getting more of these strategy guides because people are starting to get into them now. You know, recently, um, Metal Jesus Rocks talked about strategy guides. And I just started seeing strategy guides online just going up in price and people talk in the comments how they loved them forever i mean it used to, i remember people talked about talk shit about the strategy guys. like i used to buy them when i'd get a brand new game i'd always buy the strategy guy with the, like I'd, you know buy halo 2 came out i'd get because you get 20 percent off i'd get the halo 2 strategy guide i'd buy um gears of war get get the gears of war strategy guide and they started come out with the collector's edition ones which are my absolute favorite i love those hardbound books with the nice paper, the nice leather covers, you know, they're just really nice with those. And I just really like them. I like using guides more than I do going online, reading people's written out guides, because sometimes they're confusing, and there's no pictures, you're trying to figure out where they're going, their, their grammar is kind of poor sometimes in the book. I mean, I have, I've used them, you know, some are good, and there's been some that have been bad. I have used some online videos in YouTube to look up. But for me, I like to just have something I can hold in my hand. I can just sit here, yeah, I can play the game, and have it right there in my lap, and I can play. Like So I'm just old school, and I love my, my strategy guys. So I want to work on getting more of the strategy guides that I need for my collection before they keep going up. Because, like I said, as there's been this new renewed interest in the last, like, year in strategy guides, more and more people are buying them up, and the prices are going up. Like, the Red Dead Redemption 2 strategy guide's going for, like, a hundred bucks or more now. I'm so glad that I got that when it was on clearance at my local game store. Because there have been a few strategy guides released recently, because they actually don't make these anymore. The companies went out of business, but a couple of the companies do self-publish them. But they make them in really low numbers. And if you don't buy them on that day one, they become very expensive and very hard to get. Like the Red Dead Redemption 2 guide or the Sekiro uh, Shadows Die. I think that's what it's called. You know, there's a, you know, some of these games still get strategy guys, but they're very, very limited. So I love picking them up because I find that they're actually very useful. And I just said I don't just buy them just for the heck of it. You know, I actually buy them because I actually use them. Like this Donkey Kong 64 book is coming very handy for my buddy and I trying to 100% everything in the game because, you know, unless you've played the game of Crown, you don't know, we're not going to know where all the secrets are and how to unlock. And this has all those strategies and all those tips and wonderful maps for you to go through. So that's why I love strategy guys. So I'm working on getting more strategy guys for my collection as I want to build up my strategy guys before they become unattainable because there are some I want to get that are really expensive and pricey. Like, I want to get the Witcher 3 Collector's Edition Strategy Guide. I would like to get the Dragon Age Origin Collector Guides, which they're pretty pricey. So I'm waiting and hoping I can find them locally because I have found quite a few at my local game stores and half price books. I found some really, really good deals there. Um, they did last year have some dude turned in oh, like a thousand strategy guides. So they've been spreading them out to all their locations. And this one down here by me actually had a couple hundred guides I was able to go through. I only found a few that I didn't already have. And I've been finding good deals on that. So I do want to keep working on my strategy guide collection. Um, I want to keep working on my PSP uh, collection as I'm getting really close to finishing that up. 
there's just some more titles I want to get. I've got, I think, over 100 titles for the PSP, which I love the PSP. It's a wonderful handheld system, but I like handheld gaming. I know not everybody's into it, but I love it. And I also want to keep working on building up my PlayStation Vita collection now that I have a PlayStation Vita. I bought one last year, and I'm really liking the console. It's just the games are just so hard to find, and they're kind of expensive. And I don't personally like loose PSP games, I don't like loose. I don't like my DS games loose. I don't like my PS Vita games. I like them complete with the case because I run into a lot of them without. But me, I prefer those consoles to have their case. If it's like Genesis or Super Nintendo, you know, I, they can be loose carts. I don't care. But for handheld systems, I like them to have their cases. And so I'm working on getting those complete because there are some tons of Vita games I missed out since I did not have one. Wonderful games out there. I really like the system, so I'm slowly building up that library. And for my PSP and Vita and DS and 3DS, or I only buy games I'm actually going to play. No filler titles, no crap. I have some that came in lots or people gave to me, but for the most part, my handheld systems are strictly games I'm going to actually play and enjoy. No filler junk titles, nothing like that. So I'm going to keep working on those goals as well. Um, let's see if I think of any other uh, goals I want to do. Oh, I do want to try another goal I do for the channel is I do want to make sure I can start setting some time around to get some more uh, videos filmed as I actually have a couple video series that I've had on the back burner for a while now that I wanted to get started here. And so I want to start being able to release at least two videos a week like I used to do right now. I've just been kind of releasing one a week, sometimes two, but I really want to get back into releasing at least two videos a week because I really do love... Um, making these videos for you guys and interacting with you and that's what I find really fun and fun aspect of the social media is actually interacting with people and chatting and talking about these old games with people who love them as much as me and share my passion so I do want to work on my goal of uh, making the time and filming these videos and getting them uh, released for you guys so that about do it for my goals for this year you know like I said you know going over you know gaming more um, you know, making the time to play games, you know, working on getting backup consoles so I can have my co my collection future-proofed, working on getting the rest of the strategy guides I need for my collection, working on my PSP and PS Vita guide, and then taking the time to film more videos. So those are my collection goals for 2022. I'd like to hear what your guys' collection goals are, so leave a comment. Let me know what you guys, what goals you guys have set for the year, if you have set for your channel. I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know. I want to thank you guys for watching. Take care. You guys have an amazing day and sleepy. We'll see you next time.